Back in September 2017, a new Chinese smartphone brand entered the Indian market. A division of Huaken Technology, the brand and focus here is called Tenor. Now, till date, Tenor has launched three budget smartphones, and the latest one of the three is this, the Tenor D. Tenor D has been introduced as an entry level smartphone at its price of rupees four triple nine. The device boasts of a 5.2 inch HD display, up to two days of battery backup and a Snapdragon 425 processor to power it all. Now let's see how all of this fares when put together in a smartphone. The Tenor D seems to be a very simple device at the first look, with a plastic bill and a display that is covered by optimum bezels on all sides, which is kind of surprising in a time when almost all the companies are going for a bezel-less display. The camera at the back is placed right above the fingerprint sensor and gives a slightly better look than what you get at the front. The 5.2-inch display on the device is everything that you can expect out of an entry-level smartphone. It is bright, crisp, has ample colors and overall delivers a decent experience. The touch on it, however, is not that smooth, which is especially experienced while you're typing. A plus point of the 10RD is the stock Android experience with the Android 7.1.2 Nuga. This certainly delivers a smooth Android experience to new users and an ease of use to those already accustomed to it. And the best part, 10R says it is upgradable to Android Oreo. The biggest USP of the smartphone is its 3500mAh battery. In our experience with it, we were easily able to pull off one day of use and was still left with 20% backup, which when used wisely can last you another half a day. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor powering the device delivers a decent smartphone experience. When we say decent, it means you will be able to perform your everyday smartphone tasks like calling and messaging, stay connected to your social media handles and even play a game or two. But let us not expect too much out of it. One should also be ready to experience some lags every now and then. It looks like the company has not put in much effort into the details of the smartphone. Like, why is the power button placed on top of the volume rockers, when I'm very sure everybody uses it more often than they want to turn up the volume? Also, the bottom bezel is left completely empty. Like, compare it with Xiaomi's Redmi 5A. Both the smartphones retail at the same price and have similar bezels. But Xiaomi was at least wise enough to fill this gap with capacitive touch keys. One advantage that the 10RD does have over the Redmi 5A though is the inclusion of the fingerprint sensor. At its entry level price, that is a big feature that 10R could have offered. And surprisingly enough, it works well too. Another big plus on this smartphone is its dual SIM slot along with a dedicated micro SD. So one can use two numbers simultaneously and expand their storage up to 128 GB. The camera performance on the 10RD does not match up to user expectations though. Both the front and rear cameras produce images with washed out colors and even have focusing problems. When you look at it, the entry level smartphone game has really upped from what it was earlier. Considering 10 or D, you get a stock Android experience, a dual SIM connectivity along with expandable storage, a fingerprint sensor, and an impressive one day battery backup, all at just Rs. 4999. But then again, there are other smartphones in the market available at the same price point which are able to deliver a tad bit better smartphone experience. As for 10 or D though, it is the only one available with a fingerprint sensor at this price. 